As the world attempts to figure out how to save the environment, one of the biggest concerns is saving the energy that we use for electricity. It turns out an Israeli company has a solution that could change lots of cities. Oded Drori is a product engineer at Gash Lading. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. First of all, we've heard in the news this term smart city. What is a smart city? Well, a smart city is a city where different systems from uh, different areas of expertise are synergized within something we call the Internet of Things, or IoT for short. Uh, in such cities, systems like lighting and traffic and security can be interlinked and, let's say, work together, uh, all being controlled from a central command uh, at the disposal of city management. And your company has created uh, an invention called Apollo. How does that work in a smart city? Well, Apollo is, um, is a luminar that was designed in advance in order to give uh, as much flexibility as possible to city planners and designers in order to give those, uh, those services. While being very efficient and very good at what it does, which is uh, strictly saying lighting, it will also allow us to uh, provide those different services. For example, Cities can use the Apollo along with a camera in order to monitor security in different streets. Or they can measure the level of light in order to not waste energy with unnecessary lighting and dim down luminaires. So these services can make that product a very, very uh, integral part of smart cities. When will it start to be in use? That's a big question here, right? Uh, well, uh, happy to say that uh, cereal manufacturing is starting right now and already the demand is high. And throughout 2016, we're going to be marketing it both uh, in Israel and to foreign countries around the world. I understand that you're also working on a different lighting product uh, that adjusts according to how much light there is outside. Can you tell us about that? Yes, of course. This is actually um, a hot topic in lighting today, uh, the topic of human-centric lighting. Uh, how do we design a lighting products so that they are not only sufficient in how much light they give, but that they're also increasingly healthy and productive to uh, human functioning. So uh, smart lighting products that will be able to focus uh, on the human-centric side can sense the level of light in the room uh, during the different times of day, and they can sense the different color of light as the sun gives us warmer or cooler shades. And in accordance with that, it can help uh, control the cycle that humans go through throughout the day uh, that determines how awake we are and how productive we are at work and how well are we going to sleep at night. So, automizing those different processes can really help us to make lighting uh, focused on humans and not only on workplaces. So, I mean, this is an amazing idea because, you know, I often sit inside my room and there's a lot of light coming in. I'm wondering, why are the lights so bright? Why don't I have something that adjusts according to this? But I guess the big question here is, why is it so important for us to be saving energy through lighting specifically? Well, lighting is a very big uh, consumption mechanism. It accounts for around 20% of the power consumption in the world. So by being able to save uh, that amount of energy, we're not only doing good for the planet, but we're also saving a lot of money and allowing it to be allocated to different uh, fields of city management and home management. We can invest that, that money saved back into industries and, let's say, uh, make our houses and cities smarter. Absolutely. So what do you hope the future is going to look like for not only your company, but obviously the future of smart cities in this world? Well, the future is uh, very bright, pun intended. Uh, <laughs> basically, anything we can imagine we need, we can supply it. Uh, different systems will be able to work, for example, in order to tell municipalities uh, when traffics are, uh, are, uh, traffic jams are expected to occur and how to prevent them. When should I uh, perform maintenance in a certain area in my office? And uh, where is all the power going? What am I paying for? So uh, as long as we can imagine the needs, uh, the industry can supply it. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming in. And exciting to see how uh, you guys are able to use Apollo to change Israel and also the world. Thank you very much for having me.